So we've had a heck of a change in temperature. Well, I'm bloody well freezing out here this morning. I should have put more clothes on. But uh, as you can see or imagine, what I'm trying to do today is recreate a 19th century wheelbarrow. Uh, so a wee bit history. And uh, I don't know a whole lot about second century Ch Chinese history. I may know a little bit about North American history. But the wheelbarrow, or the single wheeled cart, it, as it was known, was invented at that time period by a fellow named Zhu Ling. And what little I know of the history at that time, it's known as the Three, uh, Three Kingdoms era. And, and that part of the world is embroiled in a huge civil war. Now Zhu Ling, who invents this thing, he needs a way to, to get uh, food and, and munitions to the front to the front lines. And a wheelbarrow, the amazing part about a wheelbarrow is that the operator actually carries less than half the weight that the wheelbarrow holds. So one man can carry a tremendous amount of weight a long way without fatigue. And, and this served that purpose. So it, it's pretty neat that uh, a tool that was designed as an implement of war turns into the modern tool we know today as the wheelbarrow, used by farmers, gardeners, construction workers, and and wannabe blacksmiths who are trying to build a forge. So the, the impetus behind the construction of this thing is I've been carting rocks back here for my stone forge. Uh, one at a time, if they're, if they're big, two or three smaller ones if I can manage to balance them. And I was getting pretty, uh, pretty tedious, so I decided I'm gonna build one of them wheelbarrows they would have had. So, Given that it's a 19th century blacksmith shop, I'm able to use a steel spoked wheel that you see. Uh, if I was doing 18th century, like our cabin and our normal, normal persona, it would be a wooden spoke wheel. But uh, wheelwright's another amazing trade that fascinates me. But um, yeah, I got too many irons in the fire right now. Maybe I'll learn wheelwriting a bit later in my life. Yeah. So the purist is gonna say, hey, wait a minute, you're using modern hardware on that. And, and I did um, cheat, cheat a little bit, at least for now, and I, on the axle of the wheelbarrow, I took a couple of bits off a modern wheelbarrow. So it's sort of a catch-22 uh, situation. I need the wheelbarrow in order to get the rocks to build the forge, and I need the forge in order to build the proper hardware that would be authentic for the eight, 19th century reproduction wheelbarrow I'm trying to make. So yeah, catch 22 there. But for the rest of the hardware, um, I'll be employing um, authentic nails. So using these rosebud nails that um, my friend down there in, um, in, in Nova Scotia, Hayward Meissner made for me. And they're long enough that I'm gonna be able to drive one through this direction and then one through this direction. I think they're gonna hold pretty good. And for the record, a square nail does hold wood a lot better than a round nail. And I'll be using square cut nails um, that were invented in the early 1700s when flat steel became available. And they were able, with a hardened knife, to, to cut out the taper. A second machine put the head on. That developed into um, the ability to make them in one fell swoop, increasing productivity. And they were used right up to the 19th century. So it's a good way to date antiques, if it has nothing but cut nails in it, uh, it was made before 1900. Uh, yeah, so that's a way of dating that. Anyway, I'm going to try to get uh, a bit of my, I do have some rock in the, in the blacksmith shop now that I've brought in one at a time, and I'm going to start working on, the, on pouring some concrete, and uh, once I've used up the, the good rocks, I'll be hopefully finished my wheelbarrow and employing it to bring in the rest. Okay, that's what you call a good start. We've, um, so, another, a, another cold day today, uh, but I've got uh, a good start on this side of the forge. So the, the bed of the forge will lay between these two. The chimney will be here. So once I, this has to be quite a bit higher because my floor is gonna be about 
there, roughly there. So I want this 36 inches above the finish floor just for ergonomics when I'm forging. So yeah, the fire, fire pit will sit here with that nice piece and shaker and ash clean out that Bo Beckett brought me there. And the chimney will go up here, start about here with a smoke chamber and into a smoke shelf and then into a 12 inch flue that will go through the ceiling. And it looks like you look at the ground and you see a whole lot of stone scattered about. But the, the problem is for every 10 stones I bring back here, I find about two or three that's going to fit the puzzle. So again, it's like building a puzzle without a picture. Anyway, um, I'm pretty much done now. Most of these stone are just going to be fillers in the center like I've done here. Um, I've got to go find more suitable rocks. So, and uh, before I do that, I'm going to go finish my wheelbarrow. Kind of liking how this turned out. So back to that little kerfuffle in China, some approximately 2,000 years ago, when this was invented, um, they they claimed that a single soldier could carry enough food in in a, in this device to to feed four men for a month. So it was a significant improvement in uh, carrying it on one's back, and it's working great. Um, just full disclosure, uh, I used perfectly white, brand new sawn white pine for the, for the box, uh, cherry for the structural members here, 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 and uh, here. And I put on uh, just plain white vinegar with a bunch of uh, iron filings from my modern blacksmith shop mixed in with it. And basically it etches it. It's sort of like using aqua fortis on a gun stock. And I, I put this on, I've, I've only been using this for the, about the last half hour. So about a half an hour ago, I just slopped on this vinegar water with some iron filings and, and uh, it's blackening already. So it's given it a nice patina, so it doesn't look so brand new. Anyway, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's sure making my job a lot easier.